Okay, this video is going to go through number 5, which went from 5 grams of Li2CrO4 to grams of CO. Now, in the previous video, I had changed it to Li um, for future notes, but the notes had already gone down to the copier, so I'm going to show you how to do number 5 that you see on your notes for it. So, we're going to draw in our four steps because we see that this is going to be a grams and a grams conversion. So we're going to need our periodic table too as we're going through. Now remember when you're doing a problem like so, we're always going to start with our given. Our given just means the number from the problem. So we're going to look for that number there and then that's going to guide our conversion. Then, since we're doing a grams to grams, we're going to see our molar mass is at the bottom, and then that's from the periodic table is how we find it. And then we can actually fill in two spots for our moles, because we not only have molar mass at the beginning, we also have our molar mass at the end. Now remember, our middleman step is going to be a mole ratio, and that mole ratio is what we get from our balanced chemical equation from... Um, our coefficients up at the top. So let's get started. We see that we have 5.0 g of Li2CrO4. Now that gram of Li2CrO4 is what's going to go on the bottom here. Now we already calculated that in number 4 by adding up 2 Li's, 1 Cr, and 4 O's. So we're going to put that 129.88 right here. Now we'll fill in our Li2CrO4 right here, and then we find it in our balanced chemical equation, and that lets us know what mole we're going to use in our mole ratio, which is Li2CrO4. Now this is where we pivot and transition from our A to our B. So we're going to see our B is we're trying to get to how many grams of CO. So we find my B right here in my balanced chemical equation. And we see that there's a 2 in front. So we're going to write 2 mol of CO there. Now this is 1 mole of CO because we're at our molar mass point. So now we have to go to the periodic table and find C and O for cobalt, not for carbon and oxygen. So we're going to see it's 58.93. So we'll fill in that 58.93 here. Now if we notice the key point of doing stoichiometry is canceling out your units. So grams of Li2OC are 4. Keep continuing to cancel out. And then we have mole of CO, mole of CO. So now we're at the part where you need your calculator. So on the top we're going to do 5 times 2 times 58.93. So we're going to see our top part is going to be, so I'm going to write it up here, 58.93. And then we're going to see our bottom part is going to be that 129.88 times 3. We don't have to show the ones in our calculator if we don't want to. So our bottom is going to be 389.64. And then we're going to divide top by bottom. So 589.3 divided by 389.64. And we get a very long decimal, of course, right? So we're going to have 1.5124. 21723. So go back to your given and your problem, and we're going to see that 5.0 will have two sig figs. So count over 1, 2. Will 1 round 5 up? Nope. So our final answer is going to be 1.5 grams of cobalt. And that's us going through a four step problem from grams of Li2CRO4 to grams of cobalt. Thanks for watching.